would what advice would you give your 20 year old self going into the wrestling business hmm. that's very uh don't let terry funk uh drop the guardrail on your neck <laughs> <laughs> Learning, you'd learn to say no to a certain extent. I never said no to anything. And that, that Terry Funk one was a freak accident, you know, which when I still talk to him to this day, he apologized to me, you know, so he, he didn't mean it through any, there was no, like, you hear all these great, not, not so great, but these salacious stories about this guy shot on this guy. Now, of course, the Sam Punk thing at the press conference is prevalent right now, but this was an absolute accident with Terry, but I would say that I, I there's many times in my career where I was afraid to say no and I should have said no. And that, that counts for also some creative stuff too, that I didn't stand up for my business. And the worst thing that would have happened is I would have just went somewhere else. And it's not like it is today. I could have went to three or four different companies or I could have went and worked full-time in Japan or other places back then. There was plenty of work to go around what advice would you give your 20 year old self going into the wrestling business? Hmm. That's very, uh, don't let Terry Funk, uh, drop the guardrail on your neck. <laughs> 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 Learning. You'd